What is up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Urine Hub. I think that's Urine Hub. I think that's how you pronounce that. S5C 4-axis drone. And it's in this very nice box. It's very Apple-esque, the box. It is a drone that has no GPS, which makes me very excited to actually try it out. Okay, so let's get this sucker out of here and check it out. All right, guys, there you go out of the box. And there is some assembly required with it. It's nothing major. You just have to attach the legs, which I will do before we go out and fly it. But the legs just go right in here. And then they just give you a bag of screws, which is right there, to uh, attach those. And they give you some extras. As a matter of fact, they give you a lot of extras. Because I guess there's some for the props also. They give you some spare props. And a couple of spare beauty caps for the props. They give you four prop guards, which we're not going to get into. Like they, they use screws also, but I'm not going to be using them. Then you get um, two batteries, and they are, I think they're 1,000s. Hold on. Yeah, 3.7, 1,000 milliamp hour. There's a close-up on that. There's two of those. There's the charger. The other battery is inside the unit itself. It's very easy to get that in and out. So it's not a hard one, it's an easy one. Some of these can be difficult, but this one is not. And that's all you do is you just pull the camera back, you hear it snap, and lift up. Then when you put the battery in there to the closer, you push it that down and push forward till it snaps. Here's your Wi-Fi antenna, here's your camera itself. You can move it up and down if you wish. It doesn't have any optical flow sensor or anything like that. So it just uses a, you know, electronic barometer in there. You know, that's what it's going to use. Got the brush motors. There's a slot right there for the SD card, which I'm going to put one in there. Here's the transmitter, and the transmitter's all laid out for you. Here's your rates. Here's your flips. Um, I'm sure this is your trim here. Then here's your sticks. Here's your power. That's going to turn it on and off like that. Then here's your flips here. Here's where you're going to hold the phone right there. So we're going to test it on and try out the app. And the app is going to be called this right there B Pilot A1. Now I had a trouble downloading it just now from the app store. It just wouldn't download, but I had already downloaded it when I knew it was coming. I, already, I had pre-downloaded it on this other phone. So, yeah, thank goodness I did that. <laughs> okay, because I can't get it to download now. It won't download for nothing, so I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe there's some issue going on. So let's just turn it on, and then we can look at the, uh, the Wi-Fi setup. So I'm turning that on. Turn on the transmitter, bind that up. Now let's see the level calibration. Okay, so that's down and to the right. Now, you know, you could fly this thing without the legs. You don't need the legs on. As a matter of fact, I might not use them. They would fly fine with that. It's flat, it's level. Yeah, you could just fly it like that, which is actually what I might do. So let's turn on the app. We're going to go to the uh, settings first and find the Wi-Fi setting. Okay, so it's going to be one of these. Here it is. Drone S5C right there. Boink. All right, so we got that in there. Now, as soon as that throws the check on there, which it did, we're going to go to the app, which is going to be this B Pilot. And there it shows, the S5C. I'm just going to hit start for right now. 
It has tutorial videos and all that, but I don't need that. Well, maybe I do. Who knows, right? <laughs> okay, so there you see it. There's the flowers. Yeah. Let's see. There's me. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's looking good. Look at the lights on there. They look sharp. I didn't even notice that before. Yeah, it's got some nice lights on the front. There it is. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to put the legs on. I might just leave it like that. Yeah, because it's perfectly level like that. Legs not needed. So, I think I'm just going to fly it like that without the weight of the legs. So, there you go. So, you know what? Let's go fly it. We're out here with the F S5C, and here it is. It's a gem. It's a beauty. There, right there. So we're going to come out here and see how it flies, right? That's what we do. We check things. Let's check the uh, level calibration. And then we just did that. Now, I did not put the landing gear on, okay? So I want to try to do it without the landing gear. Let me uh, start some video up. I'm going to put the video in. Let me stop it. Now I'm going to start it again. Okay, because I'm going to put the video in on the end. Let's take off. See how it flies. There's the third right there. So it's pretty stable. It's only drifting around a little bit. Wow. Wow, that's a screamer. <laughs> Try a flip out. Flip looks good. Wow, pretty nice. Let me bring the rate down to the second rate. Doesn't seem to be any slower, actually. Oh, it's very, it's very nimble and very maneuverable. It flies very nice. Steers very nice. So, yeah, this is a good one here. Wow. Now, I'm going to try this uh, gesture thing out, which, you know, I'm not a real big fan of this stuff. But I'm going to do it to see if it even does anything. Because sometimes it won't do it on these quadcopters here. Let me try it. I don't know if it's doing anything or not. Let me stop the video and try it. Maybe if the video's going, it won't do it. See, the problem with doing this stuff is that the, the quadcopter has to stay still. You know what I mean? So, let's try it again. There, I guess it took a photo. Okay. Alright, I guess that works. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of that. I mean, who cares, right? But some people do, I guess. I'm going to put the flight time in there and I'll put some of the SD card video at the back end. Why it didn't work at first was because I didn't hit the button. I just went up there and put my peace sign up but I didn't do any I didn't do any uh, I didn't hit the button up there the little peace sign button on the controller that's why it didn't work at first so there you go you got to hit you got to tap the button. Okay, let me bring it down to the first rate. Let's see how it steers with that. Okay, so there you go with a nice casual flying speed. 
The second and third rate are a little bit on the twitchy side, which is fine, you know. For me, I don't mind that at all, but somebody new to doing this, it might get away from them. I think I'm catching me a little cold. But yeah, so this, yeah, this thing here, wow, it really flies nice, steers very, see this is what you want with these toy quadcopters, you know, it flies great, no problem, doesn't need GPS, it doesn't need all that mumbo jumbo, it's flying great. Wow, I'm impressed. Now it's starting to walk away from me a little bit, so maybe the trim is getting a little out of whack. Let me uh, bring it back here. Yeah, okay, so now I got it back steady. Because there's no wind right now. So there it is, it's steady as can be right now. And it's still in that first rate, so. Now the battery I think is about half, half gone. Oh yeah, this is a great backyard flyer, park flyer, parking lot flyer, what I'm doing now. This is spectacular. You know, this is great for doing this. Okay, so the battery went down into the red, so it's gonna be crapping out. But don't forget, they give you two batteries, but I'm only gonna fly one. I brought the other one just in case this one didn't didn't work out or something went wrong with the video. I you know, bring the extra battery in case I have to redo the video but you know I didn't have to so I'm gonna cut the video now so I don't lose it because I don't know what the uh, I don't know what the low battery warning and all that crap is you know I don't know what it's gonna do to be honest with you So we're gonna just sit here, uh, ride it out. It's on the last bar. So we'll see, right? Now it does have that thousand amp, milliamp hour battery. Now I don't wanna to get too far away from me here because you know, toy quadcopters, whenever the battery gets real low, the, the bind, you'll lose the bind quicker. You know, say, say the thing had a 100-foot range. Well, if the battery only has 10% left, the range will only be like 20 feet. Then after it gets out of, if it gets past the 20 feet or so, we'll lose the, lose the bind, you know, so. Okay, so it's still flipping, believe it or not. So now I don't know how accurate the, the, the gauge is on the screen. Because you guys can see the gauge, right? Because I have the screen recording going. So you can see that the gauge is, uh, is uh, the red. It's got one red bar left. So we'll just fly it around here until it drops. That's all.
Uh oh, something's flashing there. Okay, it signals weak. I see something flashing there on the screen or on the the little light there. I did see something flash there on the screen. It said signal is weak or something. Yeah, they're flashing right there underneath there. The red batter the red lights are coming on. So that's probably the low battery warning. So we're gonna cut it off right now. It's landed up. Because it's starting to steer a little funky. <laughs> Actually. Where's that land button at? Here it is. Hold on, hold on. Great shot. All right, there it is. The S5C, you're in a hub. But hey, you know what? It flew great. I mean, yeah. Great toy. Great toy for the Christmas kiddies. You want to get something probably pretty much indestructible, you could probably crash this a lot. It doesn't weigh anything. So any inertia hitting a wall or nothing, it's not going to do no damage. So, yeah. Good stuff. All right, guys. Have a nice day. I'll talk to you later.